Hello Leo, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. We're going to do your June 2024 monthly prediction. What's happening for you? What's coming next? It's going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Book a personal reading. Everything is given in description. Follow me on Instagram. Link is given in description. Do not get scammed. I will never contact you anywhere. Sun, moon, rising, any placements in Leo. You can write this reading. Uh, you can even follow me on Instagram. Let's go. Cards are popping up. You could be dealing with an uh, earth sign or water sign, but let's see what's happening. Leo. Oh, here you go. Queen of Wands reverse. That's you. Oh, you're angry on somebody. You're bitter. You're hmm. You're frustrated. Six of Cups, a Page of Swords. Oh, hmm. because of your ex, because of your boss person. If this is not you, this is somebody else. Your ex uh, are the person who uh, is in your past, talking about, uh, you know, like gossip about you, talking, you know, they're talking about you, like you're bitter, you're, you know, like... Queen of Cups, yeah. This could be same gender relationship, does not have to be. Um, yeah, some of you... Um, Somebody is not going to like it because you're keeping your mind open. You're, you're keeping your options open. You're walking away from somebody. You walked away, I think, already about some, from somebody. Uh, and this person is definitely not going to like it. And this could be a water sign or air sign. Definitely a water sign who is definitely being bitter about you. They're going to talk uh, like... Yeah, they're going to spread some type of a gossip. They're jealous. They could be very sneaky watching you, what you're doing. Who are you up to? Who you're talking to? They could be still expecting you to communicate with them, to, you know, reconnect with them, but you're not doing it. With the Queen of Wands reverse, it's like you are being, um, you know, you're being ruthless to this person, harsh to this person. You're not taking action. Uh, you could be even mean to this person. Like, you're like, you don't want to be there. They're waiting for you, I think, whoever this is. Could be a water sign. It could be an air sign. Now, it could be uh, vice versa. Okay, if you're a cross watcher, you could be bitter about um, this. Could be your energy, Leo, that you could be uh, jealous about somebody. You're jealous that your ex or somebody from your past that you're waiting and expecting that they will talk to you, they will reconcile with you, or they will come back to you. You're seeing them that they're talking to other people, or they're keeping their mind open, they're keeping their options open, they're talking to other people, and you could be with the Eight of Cups. It's like you were waiting for this person to return, but it looked like they're not coming. This person is not taking action. And you're watching them and it's, it's really, you know, making you aggressive. Like you could be not feeling good about it. Some of you will get angry or mad that why this person is doing that when you're waiting here. Now, this could be even somebody that you are going to talk to them and they're going to avoid you or ignore you. And this is definitely going to make you angry. There's something about something is going to make you angry or mad um, because of this person's behavior or attitude. Uh, or let's say if you want to reconnect with them, they're, they're definitely not going to be there. Or this person is really getting on your nerves. I can see that. This is a water sign or air sign. Maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. But we also have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water sign, energy. With the... Yeah, you're waiting for this person to talk to you. And they're not taking action. They're not coming. Some of you, you have a, there could be kids involved here with this person. Maybe that's why. Uh, or there could be a baby involved here for some of you. Kids or baby. Um, there could be an age gap here between you and this person too. I can see that. There's an age gap. That's why uh, the things are not, you know, on the same level. The communication is a problem here between you and this person. But I think someone is watching you. They want to connect with you. They maybe want to... Um, they may be waiting for you to talk to them, to communicate with them, but it looks like you're not doing it. So that's why they're getting angry and mad. This could be somebody ghosted you or they just stopped talking to you. They just left. In the Queen of Wands reverse is like they just got angry and mad and they just left. That type of energy here. Someone definitely cut the communication, cut the, you know, like. And you're not understanding that, what's happening. Or vice versa, if you're a cross-watcher, you're not understanding why... Leo is doing that with you. Is of Wands. Yeah, this could be a new person here. Now, some of you, this person is definitely going to take action. I can see that with the Ace of Wands and Page of Swords. They're going to talk. They're going to communicate. They could be trying to get your attention. You know, I'm, I'm also picking up this person could be trying to seduce you. They, they could be posting some stuff or pictures or 
um, you know, or they, they may be in the reality, they just come out in front of you, you know, with the trying to impress you basically, seduce you, like, look at me, how hot I am, that type of energy here. But there's a spark here, when you will talk to each other or communicate with each other, there will be a spark. Eight of soul, yeah. So some of you, you're not understanding what this person wants, why they're not taking action, why they're not coming. You're not understanding that. This person could be hot and cold and you're not understanding that. This could be even somebody that all of a sudden they got angry and mad or they just stopped talking and they stopped taking action. And you're like, what happened? What just happened? What I did with the eight of swords? You're, not, you're, you're questioning to yourself what I did. Yeah, this could be somebody that you're thinking about. What, what I did. This is somebody definitely you're not in a contact with. They walked away from your life uh, or vice versa. You could be walked away from this person's life. Leo. So you're seeing this person is like um, very loving, very caring, but at the same time very mean. You think that they're now they're talking to us, to, to other people. They're like uh, not coming to you, and you you may be thinking that they they're keeping their mind open, or they're keeping their options open to other people, or they're talking to other people. Yeah, there's somebody who's definitely watching you. And they're not understanding uh, why you're not talking to them. Why you're not communicating with them. Why you're not coming to them. This is definitely someone from your past with a six of eight of cups. It's not like XX energy. It's like somebody that you could have a spark with. You, you physically attracted and drawn to. Uh, you like to talk to this person. You like to communicate with them. Uh, it could be you like to fantasize about this person with the seven of cups. Uh, you maybe thought that there will be something between you and this person will happen because you like this person energy. They were very caring, loving, and very, uh, you know, uh, available. But all of a sudden, this person is like, I don't know what happened. The communication stopped or somebody left, you or them, I don't know. Let's see more. Why the Queen of Wands reverse here? Because I think this is your energy. You are the Leo here. Queen of Wands reverse, what is that? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, some of you, this is your sibling or some type of a family member. Something with the family involved here. Yeah, okay, this could be, uh, I'm seeing family here. Now, you could be Leo and this could be a water sign that you're connecting with. Or let's say an air sign, okay? Could be another fire, like literally Aries or Sagittarius I'm picking up. Um, yeah, so, but I'm picking up Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio with the air sign, Gemini or Libra. Okay, I'm picking up, this is, uh, could be a family related thing here. There's a, like, you guys are two siblings. Um, there's something family connecting, or this could be somebody that you have a family with, you have a kids with, but this could be even your sibling that you're not in a contact with. And they maybe want to, uh, to enter in your life again. They want to reconnect with you again. They maybe want to talk to you again. There's a possibility here. Or you will bump into each other's life um, from somewhere else. Like there's a gossip involved here. I don't know. There's somebody who's gossiping about you. Or there was some type of a, uh, something between you and this person happened. And, and you just guys stopped talking or connecting, reconnecting. You just walked away, separated yourself uh, or vice versa. And, and now this person maybe want to reconnect with you. They're watching you. They're spying on you. Definitely this person is getting also information about you. Uh, they maybe want to reconnect with you. Okay, other thing I'm picking up here, some of you, you could be not taking action right now. Um, you could be just fantasizing about things like, I want to do this, I want to do this. You have a lot of um, overwhelming energy right now all over the place, your emotions are. Or you, you're not sure about it, how to take action. Uh, maybe something to do with your money and finances involved here. Um, some of you with the Page of Swords and Ace of Wands, I can also see that you could be uh, learning at some type of a... Something new that, is, that you're excited about to learn about it. Uh, you, you could be even getting a new admission, new course, uh, or could be even some, some type of a new skill that you're ready to do it, ready to excite, be there, okay? You could be even wanting to move somewhere, like one place to another. You're thinking about it. You have definitely maybe a lot of places in your mind. Um, so you could be doing that. Some of you, you're going to do that with your sibling, or you could be even going to connect with some type of a friend. There's a friendship here. Maybe this is a relationship that's going to start as a friendship or uh, started as a friendship, and this did not move forward. But I also believe that this person and you never maybe started something. This was all in the air, in the head. 
So now this person maybe want to take action. They want to tell you that uh, let's be friends or let's get to know each other or something. But don't expect too much because I saw Queen of Wands reversed with the Ten of Pentacles. Maybe either the, this is you, Leo, that you're not going to expect too much. Uh, are you not going to be, you know, talk about marriage or family or commitment? Uh, you may be seeing this person as one of your option, Leo, to be honest, with the Seven of Cups. Okay, but obviously you see that they are, they have, they, they are the good option. Maybe you want to see, you want to see that where this can go. But there's some type of a communication coming. I can see that from somebody who want to talk to you, want to communicate with you. Maybe you don't see this um, this offer or this communication coming. This is like a uh, this is somebody that you used to talk to. You used to see each other, and all of a sudden you will see each other and meet. There will be a spark. You will start talking. You will start chatting. You will start you know uh, communicating again. You will start you know fantasizing about each other again. So there is some sense of a renewal here, spark. But be careful. For some of you, I hope it's not a rebound uh, because there is somebody. Um, you know, bitter about their ex or past and they're just wanting to move forward from that person so they want to be with you. Vice versa, maybe. If you're a cross-watcher, maybe Leo just want to be with you but they're very bitter about their ex or past or something. Something with the ex or past energy here. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Definitely a fire sign. It is Leo Sag. Somebody's coming. Yeah, this is somebody who ghosted you um, they, they walked away, they ran away, they without even telling you, they just got disappeared and now all of a sudden this person will be back in your life. So they may be gonna, they, they, it's like, be careful from the love bombing, all of a the sudden they're going to appreciate you, they're gonna put in you this love of fire, passion, desire, you know, and you will be fantasizing about this person and then they will be disappeared again. Be careful with that. Because this is somebody who just left you, you know, without even you wondering or giving you mixed signals or confusion, like where this is all. Or what this person want from you. I think they, they want to come back. Now some of you, this is somebody, I told you like it could be rebound energy here. Like somebody is definitely trying to escape from their past relationship or previous relationship. They were not happy. They were not focused on that. And they're definitely seeing you one of their option. It's not like a bad thing. They just want to get to know you to see where this can go. Because they're very, very attracted to you. Vice versa. Okay. Yeah, it could be a long distance connection here. So maybe this person wanna, you're going to meet on online, internet, social media. Or this could be even uh, finally the person that you're waiting for is here. Or you will see that where this can go. But don't ignore the red flags. I'm seeing red flags. Don't ignore the red flags. Either this person is going to talk bitter about their ex or past people. Or they're going to talk about uh, something. I don't know. They can also, uh, this could be the red flag that they can get dis disappeared. They will be hot and cold. Yeah, maybe in the beginning everything is going to be good and then all of a sudden you will be wondering where this is going. So this is somebody that you have been in questioning, wondering, you know, like where this is going or where this person disappeared and they all of a sudden they will come back. They want to talk, they want to communicate or this is a relationship that you were always wondering. You have eyes on this person but this person never took action and now they're going to do it. Something like that. Now maybe because they're available now. But remember that this person past situation did not work. That's why they're coming to you. Vice versa. Yeah, Phoenix. So this is like a new phase. Yeah, I told you rekindle. This is like a rekindle energy that you know somebody and you're going to feel the spark again. You're going to talk again. You will come into renewal transformation energy. There's a growth. This person definitely changed their mind. This person has the options. Keys on a ring. Yes, many options. This person also need to make a decision here. They're going to take it slow. They're going to get to know you. They're coming. They're following their passion. I'm telling you. This person is going to click with you. They're going to follow the passion. They're going to be desiring you. They want to communicate. Um... But there could be red flag or immaturity that they cannot keep it consistent or something like when it's going to get intense, they're going to be like, oh, what should I do now? Yeah, this could be one night stand for some of you. It could be an unconventional because I'm picking up this is somebody. Yeah, either it's online, it could be distance, it could be something to do with there's something about unconventional here about this relationship. I don't know. It's like you should not fall for this person, that, but you fell, right? Or they should not be falling for you, but they fell. Or they're attracted to you. Yeah, this is somebody who want to meet you. It's like you're, yeah, there's some type of a spark. There's a meeting here, happening here. This person want to meet you. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. I think they're going to even travel to see you or meet you. Yeah, this is somebody who literally going to tell you that they like you. Yeah, they're, gonna, they, they, they're literally going to tell you that uh, they like you or they have feelings for you. This is somebody who wants to date you. They, they feel like you both are going to have a lot of fun with each other. Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely coming with a confession. It's like they change their mind. They're like, no, 
I have to go and I have to tell this person because this, this person is very attracted to you. Remember that they're highly attracted to you. They're following their passion, their desire. But when you will talk about emotions or feelings or something seriously, I think they will immature. So are, they will be inconsistent. You will see that some type of red flag that you cannot ignore. So that's your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye.